DaVinci Resolve 15.2 is a major release that adds over 30 new features based on your feedback. The edit timeline now draws at a higher frame rate, which makes trimming even more responsive and precise. New animations show how the timeline is affected when you add, delete, move, and trim clips. Keyboard customization has been completely redesigned, so it's easier to find and more powerful. The new visual interface lets you switch layouts, import and export customized shortcut sets, quickly see which keys are in use, and assign shortcuts to different parts of the interface. You can even assign commands that are in contextual pop-up menus. Subtle red highlights have been added to indicate which part of the interface is currently active so you know which window you're working in. Live save and backups now work on new unsaved projects. Import and export windows remember the last used location. Your undo history is visible from the edit menu. Mute and dim can be accessed anywhere in the application from the Fairlight menu. And there's a new keyword dictionary tool in the workspace menu for managing metadata keywords in the current project or across all projects. We've also added dupe detection, which highlights duplicate frames in the timeline. Simply click on a clip to jump between the repeated frames. You can now clean up your timeline by flattening down the unused clips. Timecode entry is simplified throughout the application, so you can just type numbers without having to worry about formatting. Icon view in the media pool now displays usage indicators for the current active timeline. The white vertical lines indicate the currently marked portion of the clip, while the red horizontal lines show which frames are used. There's also a new toggle for splitting the media pool, so you can view two bins at once without opening additional windows. When editing compound clips or timelines into another timeline, hitting the X key will mark the clip directly underneath the playhead in the source's timeline. This allows you to edit the selected clip into your current timeline without having to open and mark the source timeline in another window. The Inspector on-screen overlays and Metadata Viewer now automatically update to show you the highest visible clip under the playhead, so you no longer have to manually select a clip. Features such as Dynamic Zoom are also automatically turned on when you move the on-screen controls. Snapping can be temporarily enabled or disabled with the N key while you're dragging, and audio transitions can now be trimmed at the subframe level. For subtitles, the maximum number of characters per second can now be set, making it easy to see which subtitles have exceeded the limit. If you're working with video or photos shot in portrait mode or any other media that has a different aspect ratio, the new Blanking Fill plugin will automatically fill in the frame for you so you don't have to manually create the background. On the color page, the new Resolve FX ACES Transform allows you to deliver ACES compliant grades and deliverables while working in your preferred color space. In addition, there's a new Gamut Limiter plugin. And in the studio version of DaVinci Resolve, there's a new Beauty Smoother plugin, which lets you gently and realistically smooth textures. You can now also bypass a mixer node input by turning off its connected node. Gallery stills can be exported with custom label names. On the Fairlight page, you can now select and modify audio transitions that were added on the edit page. You can also navigate the timeline by simply typing timecode. Just like on the edit page, clips that have had their properties changed are darker, making it easy to quickly spot the ones that have been worked on. Fairlight effects can now be added to multiple selected clips at the same time. The new Stereo Fix plugin fixes stereo channel mapping issues with a single click. There are presets for the most common mapping operations, so you can quickly fix problems like dual channel mono dialogue that was edited in stereo tracks. The control is fried. In addition, the new multiband compressor features real time spectral analysis and lets you independently adjust four different frequency bands. This is great for mastering and lets you achieve the desired overall volume without any artifacts. New VCA grouping lets you gang channel strips together so you can adjust their gain simultaneously. 
VCA groups also respect independent, solo, and mute settings, too. DaVinci Resolve 15.2 Studio also lets multiple users collaborate simultaneously across network subnets, features support for the latest new cameras and formats, and has dozens of additional performance enhancements. Visit the Blackmagic Design website to learn more and download your free copy today.